to my channel. I am so excited that I'm finally filming this video because we have been working on our guest bedroom for what feels like months now and I finally finished it. So I think that it's going to be a really fun video for you guys. I'm going to show you guys how we did our board and batten wall, kind of an in-depth tutorial on how to shorten curtains so you can get custom curtains for cheap. Um, and then kind of just like walk you through my design intentions and where I got everything at the end. We really wanted to have a big impact on the look of the room without spending a lot of money. So I'm going to kind of walk you guys through how we did that. And the video is going to kind of be a vlog style. So I hope that you guys enjoy and find it fun. So if you guys are ready, let's get into the video. Okay, you guys. So this is the room and we don't really use this very much. Um, we kind of had some sour feelings with this room to start off. If you guys watched our moving disaster video, um, we actually had some flooding in here and it was really sad because it was like the third day that we were in this house and we had to rip up all of this carpet, all of the carpet pad. We had like fans blowing. It was this huge mess. So we kind of just shut the door and avoid all the bad memories in this room, but I'm ready to make this a new space and just kind of erase all of that. And um, we haven't had a lot of guests because of COVID and now my parents are actually going to be our first guests in a couple of weeks. So that is very exciting. So this will be our guest room, just kind of somewhere where guests can stay and feel very comfortable. My dad is actually bringing my four poster bed. So when I was in college, I really wanted a four poster bed and my dad was super awesome and we made one together. So it's now kind of like a family piece. And they told me once I get in my own home that they would give it to me. So I'm really excited. I think it's going to be super beautiful and it's not going to cost me any money, which is awesome. So let me kind of show you the plan that we've got for this room. So this is the room and it's kind of small, but I think it's going to be really good layout wise for some of the design stuff that I want to do. So my vision is to do some board and batten siding on this wall because it's the first thing you see when you walk in there. So it's perfect for a focal wall. There's no windows, nothing else on it. It's going to be a very like good wall to set everything up so I can have a symmetrical design which I think looks really nice and visually pleasing. So um, we are going to go to Home Depot and get some stuff to do this board and batten because we have never done anything like that before in our lives. So it should be a fun adventure. And um, I'm thinking of doing the wall kind of like a blue gray slate color. So just something very calming, but still like a little touch of vibrancy, I guess. So we are going to go to Home Depot now and try to find some good paint colors to see. I want to bring the swatches back here and just see them in the light so I can feel confident in my decision. And we're going to go see if we can get some stuff to start our little board and batten. So yeah, let's head over to Home Depot and transform this bedroom. Okay, so really quick, I just wanted to pop on here and say that we did go to Home Depot originally for the wood for our board and batten wall, and uh, we got it to the register. It was all just like, you know, regular wood, not primed or anything, and it rang up to $300. And we're like, yeah, we're not paying $300 for that. So it was really embarrassing, but we had to put everything back, and we decided to regroup the next day at Lowe's, where we had much more luck. We were able to get some primed MDF boards, and that came out to like under $100 for everything. I believe we got 13 pieces of trim and I will put in the description what the exact measurement of that was, but it ended up being a lot cheaper. So yeah, just had to say that anyways, back to the video. <laughs> okay, so we got our paint samples here and I was originally going to get the bare ones, but those were $5 per paint sample and I didn't wanna pay $20 just to test it out on the wall. And I'm one of those people, like I want to see the actual paint dried on my wall. I don't like the little paint sample chips just because I feel with like lighting and everything, things can look so different when you know you actually apply it. So um, we have four samples here. We have some dark and some light. I don't know if you can see that there. I'm leaning towards this one, but we will see how it looks when it's actually on the wall um these were each 98 cents which is a really good deal and the only drawback with these is that they need multiple coats the bare one was like full coverage with one coat so these might require a couple but i didn't think it'd be that big of a deal because we have white walls and our trim is already primed white so it shouldn't be too bad so i'm gonna put these on the wall and see what we think
Okay, so these are the three colors that we're deciding between. I originally thought I was going to like the light the best. Also, I used a very crappy paintbrush and little parts of it fell out, but I feel like if the whole wall was that one, it would just look too like sky blue. I really like how the top one is kind of gray. The middle one's a little bit too dark for me. So I don't know, Mike likes the bottom one, but I just wanted a little bit of like a fun, dark contrast. And I don't think that this does it. I don't know. If you guys were me, which one would you pick? One, two, or three? Let me know in the comments. So I told Mike, I said the color that I think we're gonna go with is called Special Delivery, which is that one, and what did you say? I said that is exactly what the doctor said when my mom had me. <laughs> Very modest. So to start off our board and batten wall, we just took the total length of the wall, divided it by how many boards we had, and then measured out our spaces. As you guys can see, we created a little spacer that was the exact width of our boards. So that kind of acted as our little tracer there. And then we made sure that it was straight up and down with a level so that our lines weren't crooked. And next we cut our boards down to the appropriate measurements using our miter saw. You don't need to have a miter saw though. You can always use like a miter box saw, which is a lot cheaper. You can get those for like $15 at the Home Depot. And then to make sure that these guys stuck on the wall right, we put some glue on there. I will link the exact one we used below. So we started with the top one. Mike's dad came over to make sure that we were able to get that one in and we used his nail gun just to secure it a bit more. And as you guys can see here, we tried to use the level but it was just slipping and sliding all over with the nail glue and ended up making more of a mess than we needed so we just kind of decided to ditch the leveler because our lines were already straight so we just made sure they matched up with our tracings and glued and nailed glued and nailed and just kind of repeated that process Okay, everybody. So I think that this looks really good. It's so tempting for me to keep it white because I just love white, but I think we need to be different and go for a color. But um, next step is going to be, if you guys can see all of these little like nail holes, we have to fill those. And then we're gonna caulk in between these little cracks just because there's some spots where the wall wasn't even and stuff like that right in the corner there, up at the top. So we're gonna kind of put caulk in all of there and then we're gonna let it dry overnight and then tomorrow, hopefully, we will paint. So, um, especially seeing everything in the dark light, like no natural light, I really like this one still. So, special delivery it is. So a very random tip is actually to use toilet paper in some of the larger gaps for where you're caulking. This just really helps you to avoid using like a ton of caulk and it kind of just closes up those gaps very easily. This is something that Mike saw on YouTube from a professional caulker. So it is not something we made up. It's just something that we saw and it actually helped us a lot. Okay guys, so it is the next morning and all of our caulking and nail filler has dried, so it is now time to paint. And I'm gonna change out of this outfit really quick, um, which is so funny because I looked in the mirror this morning and I'm like, I look like uh, Hilary Duff in that Cinderella story movie. She, I think she like wears this exact outfit, which is so funny. Um, I love that movie, by the way. So anyways, Mike and I went to Home Depot this morning and we picked up our paint. Now, I went rogue on the paint, you guys. After all of the hard work I went through doing the samples and everything, I found one of the samples that was super similar to my favorite one, which is the top one, but it was just a little bit more teal colored, but it was like the same kind of shade and everything. I'll see if I can insert a picture of the two side by side. They look super duper similar. One is just a little bit more like greeny gray, which I wanted to go for like that kind of minty color. And I think it's going to be perfect, but, um, it probably would have inspired me to get the sample and then test it one more time, but I just didn't want to have all those trips going back and forth to Home Depot. So I was like, you know what? I'm going rogue. We're going to just get it and hopefully it's good. So 
Um, yeah, it is called Nautical Star by the Glidden, it's like the Glidden one. So it was like $23 for this gown, which is pretty good. So we are going to change out of this Hillary Duff outfit and then start painting. everyone so it's been a couple of days since the initial paneling install and paint we've just kind of moved furniture back in and done a couple of projects here and there so I kind of wanted to update you guys and then I have a few little fun projects going on today so I just wanted to show you guys that so let's take you guys over here sorry tripod problem and show you what we got going on so we put the little side tables in here and i think they look so pretty with this light wood cane and black accents against the smoky blue color that's just exactly the look i was going for and please ignore this bed this is just a placeholder for now this is our old bed from our very first apartment we have the other nightstand and then we hung these really pretty curtains the other day um these are the lenda curtains from ikea and they were $35 for both of these. And the shorter length is 25 bucks, but we have nine foot ceilings and I'm a big believer in hanging your curtains as high as you possibly can because it really creates the illusion of super tall ceilings. It just lengthens your room. So um, I wanted to get the long ones and shorten them. So today I'm gonna show you guys how you can get a really pretty custom curtain look for $3. I know I've touched on this in other videos, but I think this is gonna be a little bit more of an in-depth tutorial. So that we have that going on today. And then we got our rug from Rugs USA, which I'm super duper excited about to unroll this guy and see how it looks. It's supposed to be kind of like brown, taupey, tannish colors with hints of blue. So it should like tie in so pretty without being like too much of a pop of color. And then we got this rug pad, which I wanted to show you guys because if you guys are doing rugs on carpet, you want to try to get a pretty thick rug pad because you don't want your rug showing like sag when with your furniture legs if that makes sense so like it would show that like little indent if you don't have like too thick of a base so i got a pretty thick rug pad and then we have this rug which is pretty thick as well so i think we should be good on that but yeah those are kind of the little updates we're gonna make today so i'm excited to roll this rug out and shorten these curtains so let's do it Okay, and this is the rug. We're obviously, it was rolled up, so we're gonna have to put some like weights on it or just kind of wait for it to flatten out. But how beautiful is this? I love these little smoky blue aqua tones that really match our accent wall. I think that that's beautiful. Some people don't like rugs on carpet, but I personally think it's a great way to kind of dress up the look of your room. Looks very designer and I don't know, I just think that it's a really fun way to kind of, you know, disguise your builder grade carpet. So um, I think it looks really pretty and this is a very affordable rug, you guys. I am super impressed. I will link it below, but I love that kind of like vintagey look and how it's still very neutral, but has just like a tiny touch of color. I think it's gorgeous. So that's the rug and we are um, just gonna have to like I said put some weights on here but our next project is going to be shortening these guys which I'm super excited about so let's go get our tape and give our curtains a custom look for three dollars <laughs> Okay, so all you'll need for this project is an ironing board, some scissors, and some heat and bond hem adhesive. I got this at Michael's and then an iron. So I first started by spreading out my curtain on the rod. You don't even have to take it off of the rod. And then I just kind of measured exactly where it would fall on the floor. So um, I double, triple checked this and I pinched it right where the end of the curtain would fall. So I did the same exact thing on the other side. And then I kind of just made a straight line with the two. So 
they were connected by a line so then I just tried to get that line very flat and straight and then I laid it down on the ironing board and from there I just kind of ironed it so it created a crease there and the purpose of this is so that we have a line to tell us where the curtain should fall and where we want our hem to go so as you guys can see that creates a nice little line which is a marker for us and then from there I just went and I cut about an inch down from that hemline so this kind of gets rid of all that excess fabric and makes it just a lot easier to work with it doesn't have to be a straight line but like I said we're just trying to get rid of that extra fabric so it makes our ironing a bit easier so then I went about working with half of the panel at a time. You could do the whole thing at once, but you know, my ironing board was really tiny. So I was just working with what I had, but I just stuck the iron on hem in there and then I ironed it. I followed the directions on the iron on hem tape packaging. I think it said about three minutes that you want to iron for, but mine worked a little bit quicker than that. You just want to make sure that your hem is fully like fused on there. So you can kind of peel up and test it. So once that side was done, then I moved on and repeated the same exact process on the other side. And once everything was fully ironed and fused on there, then I went through and I just cut off the excess fabric. This just makes it look like a really clean line and a very straight looking hem. And then after that, I figured why not go the extra mile and give these guys a nice little steam. As you guys can see, they were kind of wrinkled from the packaging and I feel like this just gives it a nice professional look and makes them look very crisp and clean. So here you go, you guys, custom looking curtains for $3. All you need is some iron on him in 20 to 30 minutes of your time. Okay, so my parents are here and we are taking apart this bed. Oh, there's my dad. Hello. <laughs> so we have the bed all taken apart here in this room and we're ready to put it together. And I'm very excited to see how it looks because this is the last piece. So then it'll be revealed after we put this guy together. So when I say we, I mean Mike and my dad, but <laughs> it'll be fun to finally see it all come together. I designed the whole room around this bed, so hopefully it looks good. beautiful it's exactly what I was wanting just a very calm relaxing casual space for guests to stay when they come here I also will say that I know not everybody has a dad that can just like randomly bring them a bed for free so um, I will put some more affordable for poster bed links in the description box just keep in mind when you go cheaper on that stuff they typically tend to be a metal frame as opposed to a wood frame um, but I will make that available to you guys um, and as far as all the decor in here, I really try to keep everything very budget friendly. So I'm gonna kind of just walk you through everything and tell you where I got it all. And then I'll just kind of walk you through my design choices as well so you guys can see why I decided to do certain things, um, you know, from a design perspective. So let's first start with this picture frame back here. This is one of my favorite things in the room. I feel like it really sets the mood. I love the black and white photography because I feel like it doesn't compete with the other colors in the room. And it just kind of makes a very subtle statement I love the contrast of this light wood against the slate blue wall. This frame was $25 at Target and I personally think it looks very expensive for being that cheap for this size. I believe it's a 36 by 24, but I will fact check that and insert it here if I'm wrong. Um, so this is actually a photo that I took in Huntington Beach, California, and I love that the birds are super sharp and then the ocean in the background is just very soft. I think that this is just a very relaxing image and just kind of sets the mood for the whole room. And like I said, black and white was the way to go in here with all the other color that we have going on in the wall. So um, this is actually on my Etsy shop, so I'll link that below for you guys as well. And then as far as the printing of the photo goes, I 
ordered it on MPEX, which is a digital download printing service. So you can do it, it's all online. And I've talked about this a lot in my videos. I'm not sponsored or anything. I just love the service that they provide. So you just order the photos online and then they send it to you in the mail a couple days later, usually about a week. Um, but I will say that when I'm ordering large prints, I typically get the poster version to save money because um, the print is actually very expensive. It's probably about double. I think the print for this size was $60 and then this guy was $30 for the poster version. Keep in mind, it's not like a glossy print or anything when you get the poster version, it's just paper. But when you're putting it in a glass frame, I don't feel like that matters as much. It's just kind of like a little way to save money. As far as the pillows go, every single pillow on here is from Home Goods except for this guy in the front. It's from Target and I've talked about this in my Target favorites video. Um, with the color on the wall, I really wanted to keep the pillows very neutral. I didn't want too much color going on because then it easily kind of feels a little bit busy and not as relaxing as I wanted. So um, I kind of tried to play with textures more than color. So this guy in the front is just a really pretty casual linen-y fabric, which I love. And I love like the subtle navy tones woven in with the stripe. So this little guy in the front was as much color and pattern as I was willing to do here. Um, but I think it just is enough to where it gives it like a little bit of something, but it's still very subtle. So um, as you can see, these two pillows back here, they're almost the same color, but these guys in the back are very soft and very light, thin material. And then this is a very hard and like heavy material. So um, I think that they contrast well against each other. They are both from Home Goods, and I love the jute in here. I think that when you combine natural fibers that are from the earth, kind of like this linen-y fabric and then jute, it just kind of you know, really grounds your space and just makes it feel very casual and like very down to earth. So yeah, those are the pillows. And then this duvet is actually from Amazon. We bought it like two years ago and it was only $30 when we bought it. So I'll have to see if I can still link it, but um, it has a little bit of pilling because this was our main bedding for several years. But you know, if you were putting it in a guest room or somewhere where it didn't get a lot of use, then it's a perfect cheap option for that. So then we just put it with a uh, Ikea duvet insert. And I think that crisp white bedding just looks really great, really fresh, really relaxing. If you guys, I've talked about this before, but if you go to hotels, it's very rare that you don't see white bedding. It's just like a very luxurious, you know, relaxing look. So I personally love the look of crisp white bedding. And then our little throw that we have on the front is from Home Goods as well. It was like $20 and it was one of those made in Portugal ones. They have those like almost every time I go in there. So if you guys are looking for something similar, I would check out Home Goods. But I love like the grayish blue tone that it has that plays off the wall perfectly. And I love the very casual fabric that it has going on. So. Um, um, yeah, that's kind of a bedding. And then as far as these nightstands go, I got these on Amazon. I think they were like $85 each. I will say I've done a dupe video on these before and I have had my eye on the price of these for a long time and they do fluctuate on Amazon. But if you want to go to Home Depot, they're pretty much always $99 on there. It's just their stock kind of fluctuates. So I will link both of those below. But um, I love these nightstands. For the price, I think that they're really great. They are wood veneers. I personally like veneered wood for nightstands because you don't always have to use a coaster and you're not always worried about ruining them, especially for a guest room. I think that they look really nice. Um, these would also make really good side tables as well. They are the dupe for um, a $700 Pottery Barn side table. So the fact that you can get them for $85 each is amazing. I will say though, they are on the smaller side. So if you have a very large room that you need to like fill space with, I would not recommend them because they are on the smaller side. They were perfect for this size room, but just keep that in mind if it's something you're looking at. These lamps are from At Home. I don't remember how much they were, but I will insert it here. And I think that they look very Restoration Hardware slash Pottery Barn. And I love the kind of like aged texture on here. I just love playing with textures, especially when you're dealing with like lots of neutral colors. I think textures really can bring your room to life subtly. So that's one of my favorite things to do. And I am partial to kind of like an empire shape lampshade. I think that that just looks really beautiful. I think that looks very restoration hardware and expensive. So um, I got these at, at home as well. They were $14 each. So at home actually has some really great lamps. 
Um, that's one place that I don't go all the time, but I go for certain things and lamps is one of them. So um, I made these little beads. I have a tutorial on that, which I will link below. And then I got this little pot base thing at Hobby Lobby. So I got it for $4 and I think that this thing's so cute. And then I just plucked some uh, olive branches out of a little tree that I got at the Target dollar section and I put them in here. So I think that looks really cute. And then I kept the olive branches going on the other nightstand as well. I did the same thing, but I just put them in a different vase to add a little bit of variety, but keep the same uh, symmetry going on. But yeah, I got that little glass vase at the Target dollar section as well. And then I just popped a little candle on there. So when I'm decorating nightstands, I like to keep obviously the lamps the same, but then I don't like to have the exact same thing on each one as far as decor because a little bit of variety is nice and it just adds a little bit of visual interest. So that is it, you guys. That is the end to this video. I hope you kind of enjoyed watching our vlog style transformation of this space. And yeah, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. All of your kind comments and support really do mean a lot to me. And I will see all of you guys in my next video. Bye!